welcome to ISC 2017, the event for HPC networking and storage. Learning, sharing knowledge and building new connections, this is what ISC is all about. I'm Anna Shaw from ISC Group and together with Michael Feldman from Top 500 News, we'll be sharing the highlights of this year's conference with you. So yeah, here we are at ISC. It's more popular than ever. I think it's uh, record attendance this year, over 3,200 attendees so far. Maybe we'll go up above that. It's, uh, well, there's a lot going on in the industry right now. It's a, this is a great forum for that. It's, it's big enough to be comprehensive and small enough to get that one-on-one -on -one interaction with the attendees and, and your colleagues. So it's a, it's a great venue for, for HPC. So let's talk a little bit about the top 500 list just announced a couple of days ago here at the show. Uh, there were a bunch of new systems, big new systems uh, that were new to the list. Uh, most of them, or a lot of them, were actually iterations of former systems. So we had, we had Stampede 2, we had Tsubami 3, and we had Marinostrum 4. Uh, those were all big petascale systems, and uh, from their original versions, they're all upgraded to, to much larger systems now. And interestingly enough, if you look at those three systems, it sort of represents what's going on in the industry right now with the different processor technologies. So the, the uh, Stampede 2 has all the Xeon, the newer Xeon 5s in it from Intel. The uh, Tsubami system is powered mainly by the NVIDIA GPUs, the latest P100s. And the Mare Nostrum right now has the new Skylake Xeons in it. But that system actually is going to be even more diverse when it's completed. It's going to have ARM processors and Power 9 processors. And, and then the, the, the GPUs and the Xeon 5s you just mentioned. So there's a lot of diversity in the processor field right now in HPC, and we're seeing that start to really appear on the top systems on the top 500 list, so very interesting developments there. As in previous years, ISC 2017 featured an outstanding selection of invited speakers addressing topics such as HPC systems, applications, and future trends and challenges. But an equally important pillar of the conference is the contributed program. The community got involved like never before with an um, incredible amount of submissions to the ISC research papers and posters, BOF sessions, workshops and tutorials. Especially new formats like the PhD forum and project posters, which are highlighting young talents and new initiatives in the field are gaining popularity. One highlight of the contributed program is the Hans Moyer Award, which is given to the best research paper. This year the organizers added a level of suspense by having two finalists battle it out during the conference. Congratulations to DK Panda and his team for coming out as the winners of this prestigious award. So we had another great industrial day program this year at ISC. Uh, this is where we see a lot of what the uh, commercial users are, are doing in the field and how they're using the technology and products. We talk so much about uh, the rest of the year and how people are using them in real life for real businesses. Um, what I thought was particularly interesting this year was how a lot of these industrial users are embracing data analytics as part of their workflows. Um, it's something we've, we've devoted a lot of attention to in the academic community and now it seems like it's becoming a critical factor for uh, a lot of commercial users so that was very interesting. Now the Deep Learning Day of course was the second year ISC has put on uh, this program. It's, it's more than just an expanded program of what it was last year. Um, there was a lot more information about the actual use cases and we saw a lot of uh, a lot more vendors involved this year. It's not just NVIDIA anymore. It's all the vendors have basically embraced deep learning now and a lot of the HPC users, including uh, the technical users. It's not just, it's not just going to be physics simulations anymore in HPC. Deep learning is now part of that workflow as well. It's, it's really a brave new world. <laughs> ISC is a place for HPC enthusiasts from all over the world to meet and exchange ideas. Over the years, the conference has welcomed attendees from over 80 countries. 
quite a diverse crowd, you might think, but when it comes to gender diversity, the community is still lacking female representation. That's why this year IAC has put a special focus on bringing female speakers and program chairs onto the stage and behind the scenes. The best way, of course, to increase diversity is to open up the community to young researchers and students from any kind of background. In addition to already existing programs like the student cluster competition and student volunteers, for the first time the conference is offering a day especially for students of any science related field. The ISC STEM Students Day and Gala welcomed over 150 young talents to plunge into a new field and lay the groundwork for their career in HPC. five exciting days at ISC High Performance 2017 and we're already looking forward to seeing you again next year with Horst Simon as the 2018 program chair. Yeah, 2018 is going to be an exciting year. I think we're going to start to see the exascale system race sort of heat up. It's already heating up, but next year I think we're going to start to see what the architectures are for these different systems coming out of China and the US and Europe um, and then we're going to see who's on schedule and who's not and of course there's going to be a big uh, I think there's still going to be a big emphasis on this deep learning subject that's a trend that's going to continue and intensify in 2018 we've already saw it uh, affect things like supercomputing design processor design and even the HPC workflows themselves and all those things are going to really continue and expand as we see 2018 and beyond that and of course I think we're also going to see a bigger emphasis on commercial HPC. We're, we see that this year with the Industrial Day, as we've seen in past years, and I have a feeling next year's conference we're going to see a, a renewed interest in that as well. So you can see there's already a lot to look forward to next year. We hope you enjoyed ISC 2017 and we look forward to seeing you in 2018 in Frankfurt.